So Steve called his list Kill Phil. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you play Phil a couple times and you know what he flies, I guess uh, it becomes much easier to tech against that. Indeed. Um, now we see coming out on the board Steve's uh, homemade asteroids. So those are on plastic bases sitting on top of the rocks. Very nice. Interesting that... Um, I guess those are Steve rocks. They're all small rocks rather yep. than the um, the larger ones you think you would get by everyone playing small ships. Yep. So I think the Steven's just throwing them on here for looks. He always plays with them. It's nice. You could tell that the bases actually fit the, the rocks they're designed after. You have two over here that's made for that little mustache rock. Yep. I take it that they're, they intend to be using the uh, cardboard underneath, however. Right, yeah, you'd have to. And you look like a nail, says nice rocks. Uh, yep, that's what she said, you look like a nail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Philip gets to set up his entire list first here. Where do you think he sets up? Well... I would probably set my guys up to come in from, well, what would be Phillips right, um, if not the center, mm -hmm. and try to drag the defenders through the rocks. Um, allowing the defenders free reign in open space is not a great idea. No, better to make them make that uh, three white turn as often as possible, because it's really the only turn that they can make consistently. Mm -hmm. Um. If I were Steve, I think I'd plant myself in the far corner, take a slow approach, either bisecting the Mac through that, that wider passage between the two sets of three rocks, or just uh, going the long way. So it looks like you're right with Philip here, all setting up in the in the in his right corner. Mm-hmm. Victor. Can we move the chat box? Thanks. Um, yeah, so he's got the Y-Wings in what looks like a line. Then he's got both of the Z-95s in another line. And he has AP-5 in behind. Do, doing his own thing. Yeah. Thank you. So, given that formation, it doesn't look like he can self-bump no. to stay in position. Um, and I don't think he necessarily wants to because he doesn't want to bump AP5 just to get those target locks off first turn. Uh, so he can use his actions to coordinate or focus later. Most likely coordinate. This is AP5 after all. Right. I always forget about coordinate in this kind of list, but it is enormously powerful. Oh, well, just to get the double-modded Harpoon missiles is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. um, AP5 focus and then let him move in and, uh, and target lock whoever he wants to shoot. And uh, only one of his Thai defenders has the X7 title, which means they'll only have a single mod for defense. Well, in fact, overall, the on the two tie D onyxes will only be able to take a single action around. Right. So, which uh, tie D do you th or which tie I guess defender do you think that Philip wants to kill first here? Um, I think we just hinted at it. If he wipes out the tie Ds first, yeah, he may well not have to worry about killing the uh, final dude. Um, so long as he can hold on to enough ships. The, in fact, the X7 is only worth 31. So it's less than a third of Steve's list. Right, so if it's the only survivor, hopefully yep. Philip just needs to uh, outlast it with, I guess, three ships. I mean, if he has, if Philip has a bandit and a gold left, yeah, and he's, he's Steve on the has just that 31 point onyx, then uh, Philip can win. Hopefully, Steven has thought about his points distribution and thought about the strategy vis-a-vis -vis that. D 
D4RKJ3DI says, The asteroids are amazing. I haven't seen anything like that since Pirates of the Spanish Main 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Steve's a real artist with stuff like that. In fact, a couple of seasons, he's made us up a set, which we've been able to give away as prizes in our league. So in case you're not familiar with the Prototype Toronto League, we have a regular season in which players play seven matches in seven weeks against a variety of opponents. They can ask for or request a particular match flavor from their opponent, such as arcs only, uh, such as original trilogy, such as... What other things do we have? Mercs? Yeah, Mercs. Uh, well, you're also said, you already said arcs only. You know, uh, low... Like Mid- low, low power lists. Mid tier. Mid tier. Uh, or they can play low what this tier. is, which was a wide open match. They could have chosen to play anything. But both of these guys went for uh, some pretty janky stuff anyway. Yeah, which is uh, really in the PTL spirit. Indeed. Now, actually, I said the Onyx squads would only have one action, but one of those guys is packing S Thread Tracers. So right. if in the first round of shooting he were instead to fire the s Tracers, then he'd give tra- uh, target locks to the other two guys on one target. That's a dead AP5 right there. Hopefully. Well, yeah. Hopefully if you're Steve. There's the handshake, and they're off. All right. So now that PTL is no longer a thing, are we going to be called the Linked Action League? I think we'll keep the name. And it'll, it'll just be mysterious. It just doesn't have the same ring to it. All right. The Linked Action League. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, focus, uh, barrel roll into focus, boost into focus. It's just, just not yeah. cool. It's not the same. So we have some kind of a bank from AP5. Yeah. And Philip set it up, so he has to proxy half his ships to prove in order just to do his first maneuver. That's the Philip special right there. It's something I always like to do. Yes, yeah, I've noticed playing against you. Yeah. I gotta proxy this, then I gotta proxy that, then I proxy this, and then I proxy that. We got weapons engineer. So he's target locking Y Wing number two. We should check and see which Y Wing is which. So number two is the chopper Y Wing. Right. And as you said he would, he has locked both the Ys. Which is going to be fantastic for him. Yep. So long as he gets himself some defenders in arc, that's going to work well. We have one straights from the bandits, and they're going to focus. Now in 2.0, bandits are going to be initiative one. It's true, yeah. Um, which put, means that scum bandits will most likely be more expensive than rebel bandits now because they'll have that uh, coveted illicit slot. Yeah, indeed, they, they said that was the case on the stream. Which means any bandit versus pirate endgames will uh, tilt towards the, the pirate side. It's true, yeah. Okay. So Phil has fanned his guys a little bit. And we have Steve. Now, of course, with the tidies, there's no big incentive to do three maneuvers to get the free evade action. Mm -hmm. Especially not if you're slow rolling in like you mentioned earlier. Yep. Oh, this is pretty smart. He's barrel rolling them back to stick on that board edge. Yeah, it gives him a chance to play with whatever Philip's going to do. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be another slow approach. Another uh, very stealthy game. As it should be for both of these types of lists. Mm-hmm. Uh, last thing you want to do is overcommit yourself and find yourself in trouble. Indeed. Though it is, of course, what you want your opponent to do. Of course, of course. Which is a, a good reason to split up uh, your five ship list like Philip does here, um, depending on what he does with uh, those Z's next turn. Well, I would guess that Philip is now thinking about how fast he can get those Z 95s into flanking positions mm-hmm. because those. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, defenders are probably just going to come along that board edge and try to get those Ys off the board. Yes. 
which uh, which I think Steve is very scared of that stress spot. So I have a feeling that's going to be his first target of the game, yeah. unless Philip gives him something uh, something else. But uh, knowing Philip, that that's not going to happen. So it's Z95 number three with the harpoons. Was that a bump? Yep, looked like it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, doesn't matter right now. So you'll notice some nice paint jobs going on on uh, Phillips ships as well. That um, <laughs> that stress bot's already going down in flames, it looks like. Oh, that's the <laughs> chopper. Yeah, that's chopper. Yeah, he's got that a nice uh, burning smoke effect. Yep. And his traditional uh, fire in the cockpit uh, Z's. Yeah, they're really good looking. It's such a nice way to uh, make your ships look a little bit unique without um, completely repainting the ships. I can't do either thing well, so I just look on enviously at other people's ships. <laughs> now, you did a whole green squadron, didn't you? Uh, I'm about halfway there, but now yeah. I have to repaint all my T-70s into its own thing since uh, right. those are its own faction. Yeah, it's going to be strange not not to be able to fly T-70s and Rebel lists. Jess had become like an absolute staple of my list. I know. Well, you fly a list a lot like Philip's list, like four ship Rebels. Yep. Always with Jess. Yep. And uh, and Barb. Yep. Who else would you want but Jess? <laughs> exactly. Poe? Nah. What a scrub. So Steve's coming along slowly here. Yep. He could three bank with all his guys. He could five straight. He could do more two straights. And wait to try to have Philip come at him. But I don't see any strong reason right now for Philip to do anything other than just do one straight with uh, AP5 and the golds. Do tight defenders have a one forward? They do not. They do not. Okay. No. They do have one banks. Um, I think Steve might want to fan his guys out a bit, so maybe do a you know do a three-speed maneuver of whatever direction he wants to do with number three. Well, let's do it uh, four with uh, number three, three with number two, two, two with, with no one, one, so that he can come about on a single target a bit faster. Right, and that way it ensures that all three of them get shots exactly at the same time. Nothing worse than only having a shot with one or two of your ships. Yeah. Especially if Philip gets, you know, three or four of his in there. Right. That harpoon on bandit number three is his secret weapon. He's got to be hoping that Steve forgets about it. Mm hmm So he can get into a position, grab a lock, and then shoot that thing into one of the squishier tidies. One thing I find is interesting is I was mentioning earlier trying to use AP5 in order to coordinate a double uh, mod, mod onto that harpoon missiles, but Philip seems to be taking uh, AP5 off with his gold squadrons rather than um, with with his Zs. Yeah, I mean one reason he might be doing that is he might be thinking that AP5 at the right moment will suddenly uh, switch the locks over to the enemy. Right. Um, and as soon as he gets that opportunity. Yep. Just try to shut down the the shooting efficiency of those guys. So through the magic of positioning. Oh, that makes sense. Phillips two uh, Z ninety fives did four speed maneuvers and are no longer touching. Hmm. I think I might have done it on the straight there. I don't like uh, the stress hog headed towards that asteroid. No matter how pretty that asteroid is. Right. He's uh, got a 
hope to one or two forward and and stay back a bit. So here we go. Oh, turn. Just straight up going to go for those Zs. Wow. Did Philip somehow magically read that? Hmm. Yeah, so he knew, and now he's just going to one bank in that stress bot anyways. <laughs> and Steve has made his own life difficult by moving the outside guy first. Yep, yet here goes the middle guy. But our judge, Devin Monkhouse, is there with able hands to assist. Stuff is happening. Ooh, it's out. So close. That would have definitely been in Steve's favor. Great news for Steve. Is Steve going to do a barrel roll? He is. Yeah. So he's just going to stick himself out in front. Hopefully he won't forget to get his evade token. Uh, that was the X7, wasn't it? No, no, it was not. Was yeah, it was the okay. tractor beam. So number three is the X7, the guy at the top. So here we go. Now Steve's list is much more staggered, right? Mm -hmm. um, which means that he's going to put himself into a position where one of his ships are going to be in range two while the other one is going to be in range three, most likely. Um, yeah, I don't hate this position. Uh, what I don't like is that number one has no tokens. Right. And, I mean, it's it's not the most scary thing in the world, but there's a pair of Z95 guns down there. With a harpoon. Ah, uh, here's the tractor. All right, he's firing the tractor. Yeah. Really get him. I mean, he needs natties here. He gets two. That's not far off. It's pretty good. Phil has to roll paint on both. He gets no it. No problem. Wow. That would have been bad. Here's the primary, and it's nothing. And now, the terror of the double Z95 shot. Yeah, that's out of range. Why are you measuring <laughs> Hey, you never, you always got to check. Sure. Plus, I mean, it gives more information for next turn. Sure. You know, if you were a better player than me. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's nothing I could do about that. I'll practice for a few years. <laughs> Woo! One Ooh. hit coming off that Z95. Can he punch through the four greens? Yeah, no, no problem. Four Natty of AIDS. Wow! Got two hits. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, and oh, the defender's going to... Takes a shield. Yeah. And, and regrets coming in so hot. So, definitely... Uh, Definitely uh, favorite Steve, uh, sorry, Phil, favorite Philip there, that, uh, that whole encounter. Yeah. Shield's I mean, a shield. I mean, had the tractor beam shot landed, um, you know, there was a fairly decent chance that it might. Uh, three reds, no mods, on two greens with one mod. Um, I mean, the odds were still leaning in favor of the green dice with the mod, but mm -hmm. um, it wasn't, it's not such a huge margin. Then that Z95 would be on a rock, which I don't think would actually be huge. It would have been uh, a barrel roll to the right, which means that that Z wouldn't have gotten a shot, and then he wouldn't have had a mod next turn because he'd be going over that yeah. rock. Yeah, you're right. Which well. that one is not the one with the harpoon missile. Yeah, that's number three. It's kind of a tricky situation for number three. Mm-hmm. Number three would love to get a target lock and shoot one of those defenders. But at the same time, a one straight or a one bank leaves him right next to a rock. And tractor beam guy will just go uh, and throw him on that rock. Yeah, before he even gets to shoot. Yeah. Now, mind you, if tractor beam guy is doing that, then what he's not doing is dealing with the double Y-wing sandwich of death. Which is going to come right on in this turn. Yeah. What I do like about this position for Steve uh, is that 
those Ys and AP5 have to move continually towards the center over the next couple of rounds. Right. Um, which means that uh, there are going to be multiple rounds for tractor beaming and ioning. Um, sure. Especially going through those rocks here. And, you know, maybe, uh, maybe Steve will surprise us and just two-turn all of his ships mm -hmm. to, to the right to just try to try to get those Y-wings uh, ah, doing a bump with AP-5. So he's keeping AP-5 out of it. Uh, two turns on the uh, on the uh, Defender are red. So here so is the one turn. Tank. Yeah. yeah. Shows how many Imperials I play. Yeah. <laughs> You're a rebel and scum guy. Yeah, I am. And going for the target lock. I think he's doing the thing he can still do in 1.0 and declare the target lock attempt on someone clearly out of range, get a bunch of information, <laughs> then decide which one he wants. There you go. So he stuck the target lock on number one. Which um, number one might not actually... might be in range one. Yep. But, you know, if what ends up happening is that means Z number three baits most of the fire away from the Y-Wings. Oh, well. Yep, for sure. Oh, no, my 17-point ship. My <laughs> hey, and the three-dice three dice primary is, is something. Three-dice modded versus three-dice maybe not modded at that point, depending on how well Philip shoots. Mm -hmm. Well, those Y-Wings do not give a crap about the rocks. No. Who needs actions? Who needs them? So, what did he do here? He is turning. There you go. Got to get that stress spot. He's also facing the rock. So he's either going to have to barrel roll to avoid going through it next round, or take a focus to make his tractor beam shot land. He's going to focus. focus. I think that's the right call. Yeah, Dangerous for sure. It seems. All right. Yeah, he's doing it with all of them. Now the question is, is Z95 number three with the harpoons range one or two from whew, from uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, Onyx number one? It's uh, it's going to be close either way. Um, but what he wouldn't give to get that tractor beam off the board. Well, I think he's got it here. I mean, it's the guy with the ion cannon has the tracers. So if he fires first, mm -hmm. lands the hit with the tracers... Then, uh, you know, it's target locks for everybody on uh, the hog. And then how does the tractor beam guy miss? It's true. Um, which, do you go after the stress bot at that point? Because you can't, uh, it doesn't, even with the, if you one forward him forward, it doesn't look like he's going to end up on that rock. Uh, or it's going to be oh, very you're close, right? You're right. right? You're right. You're right. Um, so it might be better just to go after number two there, the chopper one, get him on that rock to prevent that shot back. Um, though maybe he still um, pushes that number one forward just to only get one stress with number one uh, or force him to go after uh, a less ideal target with, uh, with the see what TLT. He's done here. He's tractor beam. Tractor beam. Yeah. He's firing at somebody with two green dice. AP5? Oh, he's firing on the chopper hog. Oh, because it's through a rock. That yep. makes sense. And there we go. There's that there go. Uh, tractor beam forward. So the chopper hog is going to spend this round visiting the asteroid. And it looks like the shot... Further shots from the other uh, defenders will be unobstructed on the Chopper Hog. Ooh, yeah. he took a damage. So the Chopper Hog may be a smoking ruin by the end of the round. Which, I mean, he's... If he K-turns next turn, he's not using his action to regenerate. So it's another, what, two turns before he can actually start to regenerate? Yep. So I'm not... I missed what happened there. Me too. That was a whole lot of damage. Oh, it's one damage into hull. Wow. Max Already. damage so far. I yeah. don't think he's going to survive the round. But we'll see. Nope. Great Ooh. dice for yeah. Steve. 
Uh, was that the ion? Yep. Yeah. yeah okay. That's why I didn't bother modding it. So yeah, it's a damage he gets it no matter what. He's not K turning next round. He might even uh, be bumping into number one there, in which case he's still going to be on the rock next turn. Yep. So, so I'm one not sure crits. what happened here. Well, I think it's blinded to add hilarity. Because <laughs> why not? Yep, there we go. And the last guy, number three, with his regular old shot. Oof, paint from everything. And that's two more damage, and the Y-Wing uh, is blown to bits and pieces. Bot. So, mm. as well as that went, I still think he should have gone for the Stress Hog. Yeah, you think so? Just try to get it off. Um, at least if he eye on the Stress Hog, he'd know where it was going to be next turn to prevent uh, getting stressed at that point. Yep. But uh, 25 points is 25 points. Indeed. So the question is, is number one Onyx Squadron at range one of that stress spot? Because if it is, then he's only going to take one shot, and it's going to be a lot harder for Philip to push damage through because he'll have to be range at two to three through a rock. At this point, I think if I'm the stress hog, I shoot one of the other guys. Well, numbers all, number one is also unmodded, while number two still looks like it has a focus token Good there. Point. You can put a stress on one each. Ooh, looks like range two. Looks like range two. I mean, I'm worried about those other guys coming in for flanks. I mean, we know uh, Onyx number one is going through that rock next round. Right. We got one hit and then M9G8 for two hits. Nice. And nothing. No, there we so, go. Two hits. That guy is shieldless. Wow. You know what? It and may just kill him. Yeah. Well, especially the harpoon missile might still get off here. Well, if the harpoon's getting off, I, I don't like his chances of living. No. So we've got two with the first TLT shot. Philip is reminding us that M9G8 is in play. Yeah. We know. We know. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. triple blanks. I mean, Steve's attack dice were so hot. And then, you know, his defense dice are just giving up on him. The dice lords giveth and the dice lords taketh away. Indeed they do. We've got another reroll. Another two hits. hits. Man. Oh, there, there you we go. go. Defender dice. All paint. Still, it's only two hull left in that guy. Nope, so we might be see a harpoon missile right here. Just try to get that guy off the board. Man, why are they using that ancient range ruler? They should be using our PTL range one. They really <laughs> should. And this is a perfect opportunity for that Zed to say, I have you now. <laughs> so even, uh, okay, so here's a range one shot, target mm -hmm. lock. Ooh. Ooh. So not dying this turn. Nope. But still taking another damage. <laughs> so that's a one-hole defender who has to go through the rock next Ooh, time. That's rough for Philip, too. The, unless the rock kills him. But otherwise, yeah. he has to spend a whole other turn shooting at that guy. Even if uh, Steve loses the red onyx, I still like his position. Uh, the Y has to go forward. Uh, I don't see uh, how... Three and four. I don't see how three gets into a missile position on K-turn defenders nope. next round. And there's that focus spend. Yep. If number two K-turns next round, do you think it's going to hit that rock? I think it's clear. Yeah, it's close. I was trying to think of a way for... Um, Philip to use AP5 to come in and block K turns, but I don't think he can do it. He can three bank and set up a nasty range one shot if they do. Yeah, it's um. And of course, it, he that would end up blocking uh, uh, Onyx One's K turn. It also doesn't have any repositioning ability, so 
you got to kind of live with wherever he ends up, which might be might be an issue using him as a blocker. But uh, if you're as skilled at this game as Philip is, mm-hmm. Hmm. So, what do you what do you do if you're Steve? Do you think? Um. Hmm. It's a good question. I'm really curious at what AP five is going to be doing here. To be honest, because it'd be nice to just get it off the board, but it's not really doing much of anything right now. Uh, I would like. To, I would say. Uh, Probably some K turns coming with his defenders. That is what K turns do. Is that sorry? That is what defenders do. Yeah. And um, at least that way, maybe the stress bot will be in arc without. Ooh, but you know, if the stress bot turns to the right or banks to the right, then it'd be nice to make sure you really have that shot. Well, I don't think either of those, either uh, defender number two or defender number three, can actually do three turns. Without hitting the rock? Well, maybe they can. Number three is definitely iffy, but I think number two is, can't doesn't have any options. Number one, I would definitely K-turn just to try to get that shot. But the other two... I mean, the problem is, is if... Well, let's see. Number three, here's the one with X7. So maybe it's worth it to try to three-turn in just to get that evade and then do the K-turn with number two. Yeah. What does Phil do with the stress hog? It's a good question. Um, I mean, Philip would know better whether or not that's going to hit, but I don't. I don't think it is. I can't see. I can't see that stress hog hitting that rock if he goes forward. No. Um, I like a bank right, a one bank right for uh, the stress hog. Yeah, just ensure you're out, you're out of arc in case they do that K turn. Yep, and then. If they look to K turn the subsequent round, you can turn back into them. Yes. If you can get those Z95s in, so supposing Steve K turns those two guys, um, if you can get those Zs in where they've got blocking positions mm-hmm. in subsequent rounds, that'll be great. Yeah, it'll definitely give them an, uh, a good position for next round if they end up doing the K turn. As of now, I think uh, that number four kind of has to bank or two-turn in. A two-turn looks like it might fit there. Might. Um, But in order to get that number three to get his harpoon off next turn if he wants, I'm not sure where he could go and not get blocked. Yeah. Um, That's going to be difficult. Well, I think uh, number three... Z95 number three could do a one straight and lock the uh, defender of his choice. Right. Uh, I was also thinking that AP5 might be able to coordinate him. That's true, too. But um, I'm not sure about the range there. Yeah, and it, the AP5 doesn't look like he's going to have any room to two turn in there. And he doesn't have a one turn or a three turn, I think. So no. uh, He does have a three turn, but it's red. Ah, uh, so purpose. not going to be coordinating oh with that. Oh, my. I can't believe I forgot. Oh, AP5 <laughs> yeah. is going to remove the double stress yeah, from the and, Y-Wing. And then he's going to K-turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly what's going to happen. Or no, uh, AP5 can only remove one stress with the coordinator. Oh, but, and he has weapons engineer and not integrated yeah, astromech. Yeah, yeah. But even if he does that and then one banks away, it gives him a good opportunity to be able to, or two turns away, yeah. it gives him a good opportunity to K-turn the turn after that to really line up his shots and getting back in the fight. Yep. But that leaves AP5 very... He does a one bank. What's he going to do? Vulnerable. Well, he also is missing a target lock now, right? So he could target lock. There Uh we go. (coughs) Hmm. Yeah, and there's, there's that two-turn turn in. It does fit, it looks like. You called it. Yeah. He's just blocking up the area. Try to escape, Onyx Squad. Try to escape. It's 
thinking about it. Can there be shots on him? It's tough to say. Yeah, I mean... He's just going to focus. Okay. Caution. There's that one bank. Not, yeah. even a, not even a two turn there. I'm worried about number four. Doesn't want to be facing three shots from two defenders. No. No, he doesn't. Not tokenless. Ouch. Scary. And the hog is going to do the one straight, clear of stress. Get a bump. And bump into our friend, the Z95, number three. It seems that he's left space for the Onyx squad to K-turn. K-turn in there. Yeah, he has. Uh, but I'm not sure really what opportunity he had to ensure that didn't happen. Um, so here's, I think uh, Devin's going to have Steve just roll the die before. That makes a lot of sense. No, no you're going to okay. make life complicated. <laughs> so in this kind of situation, if you know you're passing through a rock. You might as well roll the die first. Roll the die first. Save everyone the work. Do, 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 Theme music. So the next turn, the stress bot can also two turn in if, oh uh, yeah, that's definitely over the rock. Yep. If those number two and number and three, oh, there we go. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if number two and number three K turn, the stress bot can also two turn in and become a blocker himself if he really needs to. Yep. Um, yeah, ouch indeed. Uh, Pickles says, purple hands in the dice cam is creepy. You know what's creepy, Pickles? Dude's named Pickles. <laughs> well, we have Thanos rolling uh, our, our dice here today. Right. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody forgot about that. That's nice. Does he fit, or is he on the rock? There's some nudging going on there. Ooh. I don't know. It's, uh... Oh, it looks like it fits. Devin is going to have to decide what happened there. Did it nudge when he placed? It moved. Whether okay. it moved because of something that would have been an overlap, or just because it overshot when he landed the template. It's too difficult for me to say with a screen like this. Hmm. So now it looks like number two's definitely got that nice range one shot on that stress saw. Oh, there we go. Um, interesting. Uh, stopping that damage from next turn, but uh, ensuring that that Y wing has a shot on him. Yep. This is an interesting call. But AP five no longer has a shot on him. If he did. And here's the four K. There we go. So, oh no, oh, that was a four yeah. straight. That was an interesting call. Okay. This is the X7. So he's going to think about barrel rolling in and try to shoot. Uh, AP5. In the face. Yeah. He's got to make sure to give himself enough room so he can K-turn next round. I mean, it makes sense, right? AP5 is getting a shot on him no matter what. Might as well take that shot back while you can. Yeah, I don't know if the Onyx has got it. It's close. Nice little 1.0 barrel roll right there. Oh, yeah. Enjoy them while you can, folks. <laughs> They're already starting to feel like cheating. I know. It sort of is, eh? Yeah. Everyone's saying fly arc ships now. I say fly all the turrets you can right. because you're not going to be able to. Right. Run around with 1.0 dash and just go, yeah, I don't care. I'm shooting you. <laughs> exactly. Or uh, put uh, Luke Skywalker on 2.0 dash and do the same thing. Ooh, yeah, that dice is a red hot. That looks like two hits and a crit on AP5. AP5 rolls one of so, eight. So taking a face-up damage hit, card. Uh, he's trying to show us, but I can't see. I think it might have been damage cockpit, which uh, is it's damage engine. That's damage bad. engine. Yes, that is not great. Damage cockpit is of course just funny. And number two will Ion Cannon the Y Wing. Okay. Success. Two, right? Only gets one defense, anyways. So he takes damage and an Ion. 
And then he'll shoot his primaries. Let's see if Steven's hot dice hold up. They do not. One crit. Ooh. And, and it's a shield yeah. from the stress hog. Still, that ion token changes things a great deal. Well, I mean, the nice thing about all the squad going to number two or being pilot skill two is that he could just uh, move the stress bot before he moves the Z and hope that it bumps. So it's only one hit. And will the three green die defender defend? Yeah, there we go. It gets one. All right. So this was not a great round for Philip, that's for sure. Nope. Got some very nice dice, unmodded dice. Steven got some very nice unmodded dice there. Yeah. And uh, there's not much Philip could do about that. Devin is measuring arcs. And it looks like it might just sneak in. Oh, maybe not. Uh, Pickles replies, what's creepier, given name Pickles or nickname Pickles, a.k.a. Graham? So, what's happening now? We've got uh, a hero shot from AP5. Right. Range one. And yeah, no nothing. problem. So far, Steven's dice are really helping him here. Really doing some work. Okay, so... So, um, AP5 is not turning anywhere, which is a shame because it would be a good uh, either butt shot or blocker or number three next turn. Yep. Um, again, I think you have to move the stress bot before you move the Z and hope it bumps, but that's going to be by a nub. I'm not even sure if that works. A self bump with the stress with the hog? Yeah. Or let it go one forward. Um, I would say, ooh. Well, I don't think it's ever becoming on stress now. No, I think that's it. But if you bump with the one and then bump with the three, maybe number two will bump and the hog will get a nice range one shot. Um, or, cause, or number two will just K-turn. It's not hitting that rock anyways, and then it gets itself a nice... A nice shot. Mm -hmm. Is number three target locked anybody right now? Uh, Z3, no. Uh, he focused last round. Right, right, And then right. he didn't have a shot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he locked him in the first round of shooting. Yeah, but he spent that lock, right? He did, yep. yeah. Uh, so this is a rough position, I think, for Philip. Really rough. The uh, I think that uh, defender number two just K turns with his stress. He'll get no actions. Yeah. But puts him behind the Y wing, which is what he wants. Who cares about number three? It can't go anywhere to get a shot off uh, a harpoon missile unless he's harpooning missile harpoon missiling the X seven. Uh, in which case... Yeah, he'll probably waste the shot. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, he might get a damage through, but Wait. that's not what he needs at this point. Well, He's one damage through on the full full health uh, X7 is not, is not great. I mean, he's looking at three rounds at least before the Stress Hog can turn around. Right? Because it's got to go for ionize this round. Yeah. Next round, it's got to turn. In which case, he's probably better off just two turning to the cows come home. But it's not going to happen this round, that's for sure. Yep. He could try for a block with Z number three on the K turn that uh, number two might, uh, Onyx two might do. Yeah. But on the other hand, if number two just does like a three straight, then uh, he's looking at getting shot in the face. Yes. Um, wait till that Z has itself a nice little red barrel roll. Yeah, uh, yeah. That definitely will free up its options a little. Um, I don't think because it would do that two turn towards the towards the left in order yeah. to try to get that block. 
but um, but it's a risky maneuver, that's for sure. I think it might be better just to try to get the harpoon missile off. Hmm. But... But who knows? So what are you most excited about for 2.0? Uh, T-65s. T-65s, yeah. yeah. Them being a thing? Yeah. A game called X-Wing having X-Wings? Yep. I mean, I love the T-65, and I fly them even when they were not good, mm -hmm. which is now. So I'm looking forward to them being a bit better. Luke is obviously going to be a thing. Um, whether or not Wedge and Thane and Garvin are also good, we'll see. Right. Well, unfortunately, they're taking out Tarn, Mis Tarn Misson, which is uh, the know. best X-Wing in the game. Tarn Misson. As we all know. And Wes Jansen are both going away. Probably. We don't know that for sure, but... Uh, I might. You Look Like a Nail says uh, that they're excited to fly B-Wings, um, which will be amazing with those one talent rolls. I will one talent roll with them until the cows come home. That is for sure. Indeed. Uh, and then uh, he or she says, also, Hawks won't suck. Not only will Hawks not suck, Hawks will rock. They, they will be a, a staple of every one of my lists as yep. soon as 2.0 drops. Do I have a Hawk left I can throw in this list? Man, I hope Rourke comes back. Well, uh, the Torquil is there, so I wouldn't see why he wouldn't be. Um, wow, we've got a lot of people uh, following and subscribing. Thank you for Cast Tapper for subscribing. Yeah, thanks for everybody for subscribing. Oh, so there we go. Two turn, going to take a stress. He just went ahead and did it. Mm. Get that block if you can. Quad jump. Quad jump. Oh, uh, pickles, I agree. 110%. Uh, I, I, I purposely have not been flying quad jumpers in 1.0 because it's, they're just going to be so much better in 2.0. As long as pattern analyzer is still a thing. Hmm. You know, it might not. We'll see. We haven't seen any text slots yet because uh, everyone who gets text slots, well, except, except for the, the quad, quad jumper, jumper. <laughs> is a fancy pants ship. I wasn't paying attention. Did the Y Wing do its move already? I, I wonder. Don't think so the dial is still on the board but that doesn't mean much of anything no okay so there we go so that'll be its bump okay so he's just trying to get the rock between himself and the uh, and the K turning X7 yeah now unfortunately uh, unfortunately, if uh, Onyx 2 has K-turned, he's going to ionize the Y again. Yeah, we, and then he could just honestly ionize him off the board if he really wants to. Um, luckily, yeah, it looks like a... Oh, it's a 2-bank. Well, I, I okay. wouldn't have called that a million No, years. no, not at all. Uh, which means if he... Did to turn in the uh, the Z, it means he would have gotten that block off. Um, yeah, but he seems to be setting up to mess with the uh, X7 number three over there. Yeah. Um, so K turn. There's the K. Right in front of AP five. Well, those, those are good moves for Steven. He's got concentrated fire on uh, Z95 number three. Yeah, might as well take that harpoon off the board right now if you can. Um, but it looks like number three, that harpoon, it has target locked uh, the guy who's directly in his arc. Yep. And if he doesn't die, he's getting that missile off. Yep. Uh, the trick is going to be surviving this round because with those two arcs on him... Mm -hmm. um, it's three shots total. Um, 
but no mods, right? No mods in number two. Hasn't slowed Steven down a bit so far. It's true, <laughs> uh, nor number three, right? Because he got that evade for K-turning. I can't see if... If he took a focus? I think he's thinking on it. Yeah. Well, I guess he's deciding to barrel roll to get uh, out of AP5's arc. And more importantly, number three's arc. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there we go. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be close, but I think it might be out. Yep, I think so too. That's rough. Yep. That's looking pretty fatal for Philip. Yeah. Yep, we've got range ones from the dude with the ion cannon. Oh, he's actually using the ion cannon. Two again. Okay. Nope. Nothing. Going forward. So that's one damage and an ion token. Yes. <laughs> you look like a nail. That, that Z95 is going to have a bad day. And it's, once again, super hot fire. Three. Oh, oh my Z God. is gone. Yep, that's it. Oh, oh there's a direct hit in vicious, there, too. Vicious, vicious. So, I don't know how Philip can come back from this. I, I, I don't think he can. Yeah, I don't see it either. Well, hold on. This hero is Z95. Oh, well, uh, Steven's still getting to shoot number three. Why is he rolling four dice? I guess he's got arc on uh, AP5. Three, and AP5 rolls one of eight, so two more damage. Which kills AP5? Nope, he's on one hull. Uh, I thought he took a damage and a crit before. Uh, he had a shield. Right, I thought he took two damage and a, and a crit. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, here we go, shot back. Come on, hero. Z95. No. <laughs> Someone's not getting promoted. No. Uh, looks like he's deciding not to spend his lock. Probably a good call. Okay. Yeah. So, where do you go from here? Um, well... I think you're two bank away with uh, AP5. Yep. And then neither of those defenders are hurt, are they? Ouch. Yeah. Uh, number four, one bank's in at that point. Um. That's stress spot. I, I don't know what it's going to do. Um, it can't K-turn. It's really got a, got a two-turn and then two-turn and then hope he can get a shot. But that's two turns from now. That's going to be the death of possibly both of his other ships. And the defenders could, could probably arc dodge him at that point. It's two, two, it's two, turn. <laughs> it's two, two turns too many. Yes. Oh. Say that fast. I, I, you couldn't. No, I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even say it once. Two, two turns, too many. There we go. I kind of cheated. I slurred. Mm. Just to win straight. Yeah, I mean, he's going to make him do the work of killing AP5. Yeah, and I mean, even if he takes an ion, it's not going to matter because he takes the damage with the, that ion. He's dead anyways. Yeah. So... He's now locked both of those dudes. He's going to make them re-roll their attack dice. Do what you can. Yep. There we go. Focus. And we've got a two-turn. Coming around the mountain. Yep. That's all he can do. Got a three straight? Yep. So it looks like he just arc dodged the Zed, and we'll take a shot through the rock on the Y-Wing. Why not? Yep. No one likes that stress spot. Nope. 
So no repositioning, just got to kind of focus up, take your evade, and let that be that. Don't see any barrel roll options there for him. No, oh, no good ones. A lock. Oh, there we go. Forgot they could do that. I almost never see it happen. And what do we have here? We have a three turn. This is the defender that just doesn't care about having actions. Who needs actions when you roll as hot as Steve's been rolling? It's true. Yeah. Uh, I think AP5 is in a bad way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how it could survive unless M9G8 does some hard work this turn. Right, right, right. We'll see. I mean, it's two shots he has to make a miss. Yes, that's true. That's true. Forgot about that double shot. Okay, so here's the Ion. Shot. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, pointing out the M9G8. You know, Philip may have forgotten that in an earlier round. Whoa. There we go. Causes him to miss there the Ion go. shot. All right, M9G8. That little joy does a lot of work. And he's thinking. He's thinking on it. Now here, I think the thing you do is you stay on AP5. Yeah, might as well get Maybe it off the board. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so he's not M9G8ing out of anything. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. It's yeah. The best M9G8 can do is, you know, uh, best uh, AP5 can do. Nah. There we go. There we go. That's just history take, for just AP5. taking two damage cards. There we go. Oh, he rolls two of eight heroically, but it doesn't matter. Hot dice. Which would have been great if hot, he was hot dice. playing a specific seek, but even then. Yep, and all the M9GA target locks are now gone. Yep. So there's really nothing stopping Steve from just cleaning up. Yep. Here we go. One. He seems didn't spend the target lock. All right. Maybe he forgot. Or maybe he's waiting for that yeah. not through a rock range three shot. Maybe I would have spent it. Here we go. Hero Z95. Oh. Ah. Spends the lock. Three. Oh. oh I see. Oh, we're on the wrong one. Yeah. I think you want to shoot that guy anyway. You want to shoot the, uh, the other dude. Yeah. Oh, oh so he's two taking damage. two. So, as we were saying at the beginning, if um, somehow, with magic, Philip can kill Onyx 2 uh, and hang on to his Y-Wing and his Z-95, that's he the, can win. That's his win condition. He's got to do that for 24 minutes, though. <laughs> it just seems really unlikely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be difficult. Um, that's for sure. If he loses another ship, he loses. Um... Yeah. So, K turn from four here, you think? Um, number one does this, or the stress spot does the two turn in, try to double stress number two. Number two is the damaged one, anyways, so mm -hmm. he doesn't get those M9G8 rerolls, but maybe he can push through a couple damage. Two stress, nothing to scoff at. Not like it's stopping number two having that one stressed right now. Yeah. I think you three turn with uh, number two towards the Y. Just do the face off. Yeah. Try to get in a range one. And it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a three turn for number three over the rock yep. as well. Maybe a three bank. Eh, no, I think you're right. Three turn. Yep. Yeah. that 3k turn yeah z95 what else do you do hero z95 getting now, a solo the, uh, the rest of the entire list z95s aren't gonna have their their three turn 3k anymore don't they have uh like oh a, no maybe i'm wrong i think I'm they wrong, have like a 4k now or something they've got a 4k in addition that's what it is uh yeah 
Still, the only ship in the game that did not gain Talon rolls in 2.0, Z95s. <laughs> Here we go. And he's doing the yep, three turn. expected three-turn. I mean, if you were confident about it, if Philip had been confident about that, he could have done the one bank there with the Y. Yes, yeah. But... Um, Guess he won. It, it, it's better probably to get that shot now. And you called it. Oh, stuff the, gets nudged all over just, the place. Uh, yeah, put it ever, anywhere. Though, actually, it might be a bump. It looks like a bump. Yeah, so... Good news for Philip. He's just going to... I mean, the trouble here is... Onyx 2 is carrying that ion cannon. Yeah, so... Um, oh, oh, yeah, it takes a damage. One but not step. on the one he wants. Yeah. S nevertheless, it's a step closer to victory for beleagu beleaguered Rebels squad. So that ion cannon's going to be vicious because it's pretty much going to take that Y-wing out of, out of the point of the game where it's going to get another shot. Yeah. Um, that'll just kind of be just it. Just there we go. Trip yeah, nuts. just roll whatever just you want. Trip nuts. Just set your dice wherever you want them to right. be. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. uh, Philip has to be crying right now. I, I hear him laughing hysterically. Yeah. Oh, oh that's it. Seized. That's game. That's game. All right. And that was Philip G against winner, winner. Steve Hot Dice Buey. All right, oh, folks. Oh, man. So he took two direct hits at the end there. Wow. Yeah. So it wouldn't have mattered. Ooh.